My name is Simon Bayless and the show is called Meditations in an Emergency. I'm based at Porthmere Studios in St Ives, which is a historic studio complex on the beach near Tate St Ives. Many of the artists that I romanticised as a student all passed through. Having that amazing legacy in a rural location is very exciting to me. I guess my interests come from this idea of Arcadia as a place for queer desire, this idea of a kind of pastoral utopia that's away from society. There was a big rave culture in East Devon and I grew up going to a lot of these club nights and free parties. I sort of romanticised that as, as a rural pursuit in the same way as making a landscape painting is a rural pursuit or writing romantic poetry or making a pot. There isn't like an obvious culture around living a queer life in a rural place. I feel like I can sort of make it up without realising it. been very romantic about the way I make work and I guess if I am to be romantic, then romance has sexuality within it, so why not be queer romantic? I've been talking to my poetry mentor, Ella Frears, about this idea of extreme self and this idea that you can kind of exaggerate your identity through making art and it somehow becomes more truthful through the distillation and exaggeration of that. And that's something that is a kind of relief to me because the work is sort of semi-autobiographical and it's much easier for me to think of the work as an, a kind of extreme and slightly detached version of myself. So for this show, I've scaled up the ceramic pasty paintings massively. They're made from two slabs with a filling which consists of about 10 newspapers. Each slab is made from uh, about two bags of clay, so they weigh a lot. And I, I realised quite quickly that I wasn't able to hold a slab and lift it onto the form. I needed help with that, so Ben Q, who's a third year ceramic student, helped me to make them and I wouldn't have been able to make them without his help. With the video, I guess I'm partly riffing on mainstream notions of what a flamboyant gay person would behave like, but I'm totally ambivalent about what that means. The UV light obviously re references club culture and I like how that can reflect in the glaze of a, of a piece of ceramics. I like the idea of putting these seemingly incongruous things together, so a watercolour landscape painting and a neon or a piece of ceramic with a video. I think for me that this, uh, this is the first time that I've brought all the elements of my practice that are important to me all together in one, one space and I feel like I've brought it up to a level that I'm happy with for the first time ever. <laughs> And obviously I will go on to make better work, but I think really it's the first time I've like got that feeling that it's like, this is the sort of work that I want to be making.